Imagine losing your first love at 14. So let's just say this story is about a girl named Rebecca and the boy we're going to call him Peter, right? And they knew each other since they were nine years old, okay? And from the moment Peter saw Rebecca, he was infatuated with her. He knew he liked her. But he's nine, so what does he know, right? And say they grow and they kind of are observing one another, but not necessarily interfacing in a way that eventually they do. So by the time they get to about ninth grade, so what, they're like 14, right? They finally merge. These two souls that have been in each other's presence for all this time, they finally connect and it's magical. Right. Time stops, like they like to say, they are inseparable. These two are in love, as much as you can be at 14. There's nothing crazy about it. There's nothing, you know, like modern day 14. Like they're really, these two souls are connecting. One person knows exactly what they want to do with their life. They know the trajectory of their life. And the other person, what's coming from who's Rebecca, she's coming from more of a troubled background and, um, Peter is at this time her rock, so to say, okay? But there's a problem. Peter and Rebecca, even though in their own world they're perfect, the people outside of them, aka their family, or really Rebecca's family, doesn't want her to be around Peter, doesn't want her to be with Peter, okay? It's crazy. So, um, but at this time, they don't care. They're drowning out all the noise until... One fateful day when everything comes to a head and Peter is upset because Rebecca's parents are so um, stringent. They're so overprotective that he can't see her outside of school. Right. And he really wants to spend time with her. Um, and she felt bad about this because she kind of accepted her fate that, listen, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. And this is the time that I have. So let's make the best of it. Eventually, she decides that she wants to try to appease Peter because she doesn't want to lose him, right? They're all in love. So she decides that she's going to um, devise a plan to meet him on the weekend in a park outside, right? But it's going to create this opportunity that both of them have wanted, like to be able to see each other outside of school. So she decides that she's going to make her way to make this plan work out. But wouldn't you believe this plan changed their lives in an instant?